tata. Niki. Tero ni ditukuri ya matemu nita kiri nko na eba esangori kuende yungende sukuru. Ona ye, tika ngunda kukuri turuvena. Ye? Onye shida tali nyoko. Onye ndiloko matemu nito mapema muantemi. We always do budgeting. No ye kama mentenga kore budget. Tego tukuri nko pwane chika wunti nga toyechi meza. Si bisere nengi ba konyete. Toko ba creative. Otu miyo bongo. Bono muise ko. Otu miyo bongo. Ye? Toko na chano muito. Otu miyo ero na mambiri nde monta. Baje tadi anyo rechi pesa. Ole ga o. Namate mungo tiko kara. Nyoko kore te skurun kiro chan konyete. Ye? E skurun o kora no takora no musubat kene ke yoko tiko to konya. Ande mungo nyoko so bongo moza. What is the price of freedom? Do we have to undergo suffering to be free? I feel bad for my mother. She has to helplessly watch her daughters suffer. I know she's trying her best for us. But for how long can we go on like this? Many girls in my class use improvised pads. The boys laugh at us but we have to stay in school with the hope that the education will set us free. But sometimes I wish I was never born so I don't have to be a burden to my mother. Na kio watu arabunia bosi ya? Chiba zaonu kwa choka nyora kore school? Kwa zaonu kwa nyora kore school? Kwa zaonu kwa nyora kore school? Kwa wali mamu? Nchi uta kita? Kwa na wase swa ikora ha? Mwere school wa chia vrende? 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 Mwere school What's the word? Hey, Baba Keru. Hey, Baba. What are you doing? Inki. Ah, what are you doing? I'm going to go to the house. Inki, Kevin. No, no, I'm not going to go to the house. What are you doing? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Inki. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Mundo nak korang apa sahaja kau boleh lihat tanya mar. Aku tiga. Nombor ada nanya ibu naro mori siok kat itu nombor mundo. Eh, kau sih aku ibu sih kian ikan ni sain. Ya ya. Eh, aku kau buat tomo nombor suat dia nai. Ancam. Kau buat tomo. Ya, tadi nombor nombor aku bapa. Ya ya. Jika kamu sih kau tengok nombor aku, nenek mana tu aku kata nanti kau yang ke kanisa. Ya ya. 
Wanto ta ko nya gocha ya bosa iga go kabuate na yo muno akari gocha iga gwa koru muno ga. Eh. Anga gyoro chuma nongo kor. Igen to kora. Ai buku ego to tengo mukungu na koro sienka ya na maoka ya bir. Tariro musumali ne ribati ko koro ga ndekera mochi koros. Na manga na ari awa mansu yo muno na gosiko musacho na kobe kariru nso musabiri. Ine re koro ko tari nga twensi to acha kere tera na e pasta ta ringe mo pasta kere to anywa manete lakini ya singe nchuo ko mosabera to ikeire ke wangiki enywa mo no kore merari wono ri oriuka ge to gotigo yo ocha nya rumu yo soko no nya ri nya ngawe por enyen sabero mosacho ko no nte gererete ngo kwani rande pasta ko ba yiri nga ne ri achi ko kwani rumu risi lakini pa sabero mosacho ko akire ne mo ato sabera ke no mo go sabaga ke mo ai nya ri nyu mo ya ito ไม่ก็ยังคงคิดสู้ดิครับจมมาเดี๋ยวนายว่าเกี่ยวอะไรกับหมอคนรอมอริตินี่มอริริโอไม่ได้นะก็เรสต์ไตล์ควาร์วิ
Salve aqui, amigo, amigo. Salve. Queria ver que não há quem gosta de três tipos, minha mãe, minha mãe, minha mãe, minha mãe. Indo hoje não ganhei tipo, mas tinha que ter tipo, tipo, tipo. Queria ter uma mãe. Não sei como fazer. Já não ando hoje. Aí é engraçado, é? As vezes. Cara, aqui tipo, eu não dou a coisa para mim. Queria engraçado. Tá. Ok. Ok. Hi, my name is Jaras Kibagendi from Million Hearts. Hi, my name is Bella Masanya from International Solidarity Foundation. In this episode, um, you know, in the last, last episode, we talked about period uh, shame and stigma. Right. And we are, now we are seeing the plot taking a twist and into something that is a really huge and big problem that is period poverty. Right. So um, I I think I, I have I have to uh, take note of how that particular scene uh, was shot and the emotions that it evoked because it's very real. You know, using pieces of mattress or a, a torn T-shirt, a torn piece of cloth. It's it's a reality of a lot of uh, people. I remember even a while back on 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 TV, uh, there's this time they highlighted um, young girls who are using chicken feathers. Yes. So this is just one of the many uh, uh, tools uh, that uh, people who do not have access to the right uh, products to for 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 managing their periods resort to. It can be very indignifying. Absolutely. You know. I've had this rightly in this exact words from from a project beneficiary in the field saying that unapata mpaka mtoto anaenda sasa anakata mattress anatumia kwa sababu there is no other way for her mm -hmm. so this is actually something that is happening real time right now in these current um, times and i cannot imagine what goes on in the mind of this young girl at this moment it, it 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 also reminds me of what you were just saying. You know, you know, being indignifying is also um, closely related to your self confidence, self esteem, and all of that. But also, this is also closely related to economic empowerment or lack thereof. Because at the end of the day, uh, we see an, uh, uh, the the husband telling uh, the mother, "You do not pay rent uh, in this house. Why can't you go get a job?" And then as this episode. Uh, starts the father tells the, 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 the daughter you should have told me early on these are things you should budget for these are things you should know how to to, to plan for yourselves and these are things that I have actually experienced in the field that women sometimes come up and say that the husband says he brought me here he married me and now I have access to a house that I do not pay rent for and he has given me a piece of land that I should till but then what we, we seem to forget is where is the time for that when everything else within the household is left for the mother or the wife in this case to deal with but we still expect her to find time to go out into the market and look for money then what is the role of the husband in this situation in this situation what exactly what value are they adding Bella did you know on the flip side that actually women who are very well educated whom their husbands want to keep them at home. Right. Uh, you know, do not go anywhere, do not do anything. And they're just at home because their husband say they can't go. And they do not get to understand that that's actually a form of violence. Yeah, I think when somebody forces you or forces your mind, you in, convinces you, basically co coercing you into making that decision to stay at home when, you know, you had a job, you had somewhere to go, you had um, a source of income, is a form of um, economic uh, violence that they want to take control of, of, of um, your 
basically limit or cut off your access to funds because what we've also seen uh, from our interactions in the field and of course research uh, from the field has also indicated that when women have access to resources whether that is productive resources you know have access to land have access to an income generating activity or even a job like myself for instance they tend to do better in life they tend to not stay in violent situations they have a say exactly and and finally in this episode we also see you know uh, how society has normalized um, gender-based violence we see a woman talking to another woman and instead of helping her find solutions she you know i have a very interesting take on that i feel like as women we've been trained to be humble we've been trained to be quiet we've been trained to be tolerant to be patient to be understanding because men are just men they will beat you they will harm you but you have to look after your marriage you have to ensure that war doesn't get out and then you see a lot of this violence thrives on silence the silence of the survivors see. Mm -hmm. which is why i like that as, as the episode ends the woman seeks the assistance of the chief but then the chief also tells her you, you guys come here all the time and then we tell you that you know these cases have to go through the justice process you say no you don't want your husband to be convicted why because the husband is still the provider if my husband ends up in prison if my husband ends up in jail how will i provide for these children these children that the husband is not even providing for okay, because exactly. you know <laughs> so so you know in our last community dialogue the chief said this exact same words that right. you guys you will you are the people who will help us so that we handle these cases because once you come and report and then you withdraw that thing continues to stay with you it happens and even gives power to this man to actually continue doing it because there's nothing now they know that you cannot do anything to them apart from right. you know going to report and then um dropping out of the case i share a very similar experience to that i do not want to 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 take this conversation away from the theme that we focused on but at the time i was also um, in the field and we were talking about uh, sexual violence within the household so the defilement of of, of um, um young girls uh, by members within the household so the fathers the, the the grandfathers the uncles which is very pervasive especially um if i could say the gusi community because i was within the gusi community and so i posed a question to the women who were in the in the group and i asked them if you found out that your husband was sexually abusing your child would you report them what would you do would you actually ensure that they are taken to court and they are brought to book and none of them raised their hands they were all quiet nobody said yes that i would report them and so we asked why and then they said and who will provide for my children wow so do you think then people should actually report these cases and follow up uh, the cases through to finding justice or should they just um, leave them because their husbands or the other partner who is more financially able is the provider? Or what is the solution? Tell us. What is the solution really? 